everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how I do a very simple floral design using 2A magic flat brushes and uh, yes they are full of paint uh, one would be a number 10 and the other one is a number 6 and then I'm going to use my favorite fine liner it's a Westonia nail brush and paint I'm using is all folk art paint, enamel, and multi-surface. Using tea berry, white pearl, linen, and copper. All right, so to begin, I am going to double load my brush. I am using the white pearl and the copper. I will just be painting the front part of the bottle for the purpose of the video. I do, on most cases, do the entire bottle and then I add lights to them, which are very pretty, pretty ambiance lights. And let's go ahead and get started. I have cleaned the bottle with soap and water, wiped it off with rubbing alcohol, and now it's ready to be painted. And I'm going to begin at the top, and I'm just doing just a basic wiggle leaf. Now with the paints that I've chosen, these have a tendency to be more transparent. And so I might have to go over them again. We'll see how it works out. If I want to give it some drying time, I can do that. Hit it with a heat gun, or hair dryer and then maybe go over them again and so I just want to make sure that you can see so once again it's just a very simple pattern just my basic wiggle petals and then I'll continue They're definitely too transparent for me. You have to understand that with painting on glass, the thicker you apply the paint, the more durable your design is going to be. So that's very important. Now I'm going to come up in here. The top part, I'm going to be using the pearl white. And then for the bottom petals on this design, I'm going to use the copper on the outside. Come back up. And just do some slight wiggling and pull up. Or I can come around like this. And Like that. Now, I always paint these designs on my paper first. So sometimes I have to adjust based on the size of the actual bottle that I'm painting on. So that may vary a little bit as far as the design or the size of the design. Oops, I'm doing this wrong. I wanted to put the copper on the bottom. That's okay. I can just go right over it. When you do this too, you can always go you know, go down one side and then come back and go down the other side. You don't have to go back and then come up exactly, uh, you know, while you're doing the stroke. So for instance, I'm gonna do this one on copper. So I go up and I come back. Now, what I'm saying is that I can go up and then turn it and then come back down this way if I want. 
but I'm just going to keep creating the way I started. And sometimes you might have to vary that based upon the direction or if you're able to move the item you're painting. That kind of thing sometimes makes, makes the choice for you. And this is very shimmery too. So if I put lights in it, just imagine how pretty that would be. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more because I like to do an odds. And if you've noticed, I'm not just painting on wine bottles. Actually, I hardly ever paint on a wine bottle. I have more alcohol bottles. as opposed to wine bottles. And I find that I can get some different, oops, some different uh, style bottles that way, which I think are, make it interesting. All right, I'm gonna hit this with the heat gun and I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and went over these uh, petals again, gave them a hit with my heat gun and then uh, decided to go ahead and go over them. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to add in some, some leaves. And I'm just using the linen and just filling my number six flat brush up with a lot of paint. Then I'm going to figure out, okay, where all do I want to have like a, just some leaves coming out from this, I'm just gonna mark it and go on. All right, so then I'm just gonna do my real simple little one stroke leaves in a single color. And these two, since I'm using just a single color, they might need to have some Dry time and another coat put on them. Just very simple. And keep in mind, if you're new to my channel, I like to try to remind people that my channel is meant to be for beginner painters. And I like to try to provide you with very, very easy designs, inspiration at best, to give you some idea of things that can be painted. If you're a more experienced painter, of course, obviously I'd love to have you on my channel. We're gonna love you, I'd love to have you visit. But sometimes, uh, you know, a beginner painter, this would be fine for, but a more experienced painter would be not challenging enough. So I get it, and that's perfectly fine. I just, like for people to have an outlet for stress. And of course in today's world, I think a lot of us are looking for those type of outlets. I know I do. Drawing is another one that I like. But this is just very simplistic and you can just do your, your little pulls you know, away from the, the stem. You can attach your, I'm trying to do it very lightly. Some of these are coming out thicker than I want, but that's okay. And then you just do your little pull out from it. It's actually easier to do on paper. If you wanna mix it with another color, feel free to do so. My intention was just to get away from the green a little bit and just have a very, very calm color scheme. All right, then I'm gonna take this brush. I am going to, I'm gonna dip it into the one and originally I did the pearl, the white pearl, but I want it to show up a little bit. I'm not wanting this to stick out or stand out tremendously. I just want it to be very subtle, and that's too thick. 
too thick, too thick, too thick. And with this brush, you just want it to be thin and very easy to do. Now, if you wanted to tap in a center, you could do that. I just thought I would do this type of center. Just try to try to change it up a little bit as much as I can. There's so many different ways to do centers. As I say, you can tap them in with a brush. You can tap them in with a deer foot stippler. With a scruffy brush. With a liner brush. And then the next thing I'm going to do is just stick my brush into this. That's the uh, berry, or the, um, not berry one, the tea berry. And I'm going to come through here and just put a quick little ends. I guess I'm trying to see where all I painted those little lines because they are they're definitely not standing out which is fine. That's what I wanted. And it's just quick. Very quick. And you can still see it. Like I said, it's just a very subtle Subtle design. Very quick and simple. There you go. And then we're done. So what I would do, like I said, chances are I would go over these little leaves again just to make them more opaque. Uh, up to you. And I would actually do both sides of the bottle but I'm just doing the front for the purpose of the video. All right, well, I hope you like it. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and prior to leaving, if you would, hit the share button that you'll find underneath. Share this on your social network with all your family and friends. I would greatly appreciate it. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy, and you have a good one.